This video explains how to replace NAN values in a pandas data frame by the value zero using the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. As a very first step, we need to import the pandas library, as you can see in the first line of code. And then in the next step, we also need to create an example data frame using the data frame constructor. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame called data is created. And we can print this data frame below the code box using the print function. And then you can see that we have created an example data frame that contains six rows and the three columns x1, x2 and x3. And you can also see that some of the values in this data set are NAN. So let's assume that we want to replace all the NAN values in all the columns of our data frame. Then we can apply the fill NA function, as you can see in the next line of code. So in this case, I'm specifying the name of our input data frame. Then I'm using the fill NA function. And within the fill NA function, I'm specifying the value zero because I want to replace the NAN values by the value zero. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new data frame object that I'm calling data new one. So after running this line of code, a new data frame object called data new one is created. And we can print this data frame below the code box using the print function. And then you can see that we have updated our input data frame because this time all the NAN values have been replaced by the value zero. In this first example, I have explained how to replace all NAN values by the value zero. However, it's also possible to replace the NAN values in only one of the columns by zero. And this is what I'm going to show you in the next example in the fourth code box. So in the first line of code, I'm creating a copy of our data frame because I also want to keep an original version of our input data frame. And then in the next line of code, I'm subsetting our data frame and I'm extracting only the values of the column x1. And then I'm applying the fill and a function to this column. And in this case, I'm replacing the values in our original data with the new values where the NAN values are replaced by zero. And then I'm printing the updated data frame below the code box. So after running these lines of code, you can see that we have created another data frame which contains NAN values in the columns x2 and x3. However, in the first column, the NAN values have been replaced by the value zero. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.